But okay, it doesn't matter right now. So everybody, welcome. How are you doing? Shake your legs out, shake your wrists, shake your elbows. Start to jump a little bit out of your knees. Release your shoulders, release your neck. Let your shoulders jump. Let your neck jump. We're just jumping out of the knees. Feeling good, no work today. Awesome, awesome more bacon. Good. <sighs> jumping out of your knees, release your shoulders and your neck. Ha. What are you doing as you're not working today? Are you relaxing? Checking in with your favorite Twitch streamers. Releasing your shoulders, releasing your neck completely. Not saying that I'm one of them. But <laughs> and shake your legs, shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Today we're also, you know, we're relaxing, but also we want to do a little bit of balancing, do a little bit of a challenge as well. Let's come to the front of the yoga mat and warm ourselves up a little bit more. Bring your arms up, take a deep inhale, slide back, bend, engage your belly as you're doing that. And then breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, lifting halfway. Breathing out, folding forward, place your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Walk your heels a little bit up and down. So downward facing dog is pushing your hips up into the sky and walking with your knees, with your thighs, with <laughs> your feet, walking. See if you can pull your heels a little bit more to the floor. Good job. From there, come forward and down. Come into plank position and then down. You can put your knees down if you wish. And then lower yourself down 90 degrees of your elbows or you can keep your knees up. And then release your hips down, release your body down. From there, push your feet into the ground, knees into the ground. Lift yourself forward and up. Think really forward and up. As you're lifting yourself forward and up, your elbows are pointing to your feet. Your head is in line with the spine, an extension of your spine, meaning that your head looks 45 degrees to the floor. Good job. And from there, shift yourself back over the knees, tuck your toes in and shift yourself up again. Downward facing dog, look between your wrists and start to walk forward and up as we're breathing out. Bend your knees as much as you need here. Bring your hands to your hips, elbows pointing upward, and stand up with a straight back. Great job. Slide back, bend, engage your belly. We go one more time. Take a deep inhale. Breathing out, falling forward. Breathing in, lifting halfway. Breathing out, falling forward. Place your hands, step back. Breathing in, come forward and down. Elbows, 90 degrees. Breathing out, lift yourself forward and up. Your head in line with the spine. Breathing in, shift yourself back, downward facing dog. Between your wrists, then start to breathe out. Walk forward and up. Bend your knees, bring your hands to your hips, elbows pointing upwards. Stand up with a straight back. Slide back, bend, engage your belly. Great job. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. Smile. How does that feel? Release, shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Get them ready to play video games all day. Catch your streams live. Well, today you catch caught my stream live. So that's amazing. More bacon. What kind of video game do you, or games do you play? So I'm currently playing a little bit of Hell Let Loose. Super cool. I like it. like to play it with friends, you know. Shake your wrist, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Do you like also multiplayer games? You also like multiplayer games? Good. And we are doing right now a little bit of balancing, you know, to get you prepared to, to go out and play video games all day. <laughs> oh, going to try Final Fantasy. Which, which one? The 14 one? The, the, the one that's like... Massive multiplayer online MMORPG Good from here. We're coming into tree pose today. So tree pose ah, Okay, 14 it is okay tree pose works like this so 
What you want to do, this is the trick. This is the whole trick behind it. If, if anybody's teaching it like this, just, oh yeah, you lift your leg up and whatever, then it's wrong. What you want to do first is really connect and, and really feel your foot on the floor. This is the whole secret to tree pose. And because, because let me tell you, the most important thing is the ground. Because we are there <laughs> connected to the ground in balancing positions, right? If you're not getting the ground right, right, nothing else matters. <laughs> so you need to get the ground right first of all. And now the root, let's root. If we're rooting down correctly, then everything else can develop, you know? So let's start with our left foot. Feel how your toes are pushing into the ground. Feel how the side of the foot pushes into the ground, the heel of the foot, and the big toe mount is pushing into the floor. He root, he mo <laughs> he moot, he good. Hi Shakti Bhakti, Bhakti, how are you doing? So feel how the toes have some weight over them. You don't need to lift your right foot off the ground right now, but we're shifting just more and more weight to your left foot. Feel how the toes are connected to the floor, the big toe mount, the outer edge of your foot, and the heel. And distribute the weight through these four points. Does that make sense? So your toes also have some of the weight. Right? Feel how the toes take over some of the weight. And from there, slowly feel how your right leg can start to hover. Start to hover off the ground. Good job. And again, we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit later on, but this may, uh, might be also already challenging, right? Round is pushing into foot. Yeah, exactly. That's wonderful. So we're taking our right foot up onto your lower leg. Put it on the lower leg. We don't want to put it in between the lower leg and the thigh, so not on the knee. But either on the lower leg or on the upper leg, if you want to put it on the upper leg, bring your leg up, grab around your ankle and pull it in with your hand. Good. And again, focus on your foot. Focus on the ground, on the roots. Good. From there, if you're up here, you can engage your thigh and push with your foot into your thigh and feel really Check in, you know, if you're falling out of it. Laugh about it, it's fine. Just come back into it again. And as soon as you find stability, lift your arms up into the sky. You can also do this down here. That does It doesn't matter, you know. Either on the lower leg or on the upper leg. And push in there. And then lift your arms up. By the way, try out both variations if you're... Uh, already advanced and you're just doing one variation, you're missing out. Try both again. Try the easier variation, whatever easier f uh, is for you. Try and try the harder one, whatever the harder one is for you. And try it both. So for me, the lower one is a little bit harder. Now what you can do here is really push out of your shoulders, draw the belly button in and up. Good. You can also look up into the sky if you like. Additionally, you can close your eyes and see if you can hold it and then step out of it. Good job. Or fall out of it. You know, challenge yourself with like closing your eyes and, and stepping out of it. How are you doing Shakti Bhakti? How is it going? Do you know tree pose? I guess you know, right? Shake your wrists, shake your elbows. Good. And we're doing the other side. Relax a little bit. No, let go all of the tension right now and shift all the way to the right foot. And again, connect to all these four parts of your foot. The toes, the big toe mount, the heels, the other edge of your foot. Long story. Oh. <laughs> you're doing good <laughs> but you can share with us if you like feel how the four parts of the foot are connected to the floor 
Whenever you're ready, start to hover with your left foot. Hover with your left foot. You know? Whenever you need to step down a little bit again, step down a little. And again, come to your right foot. Good job! And from there, slowly pick up your left foot. Bring it to your lower leg. Engage your glutes, engage your butt cheeks. And turn your kneecap out the outside. If you fall out of it, laugh about it. <laughs> you know, it happens. As we're engaging more and more of our body. And then, if you like, you can also put your leg up. Good. We have a long message. I'm going to read that in a moment. And then again, as soon as you find the balance, if you fall out of it, just come back into it again. And then if you find the balance, bring your hands up into the sky. Again, focus on the roots. Focus on the roots. Lift both feet off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready, lift both feet off the ground and start to hover. You would look strange if I now could just lift off the other foot. <laughs> kind of like hover. <laughs> and long, long, long. From your feet to the top of the fingers. And then bring your hands in front of the heart together. Good job. You can also Look up into the sky and close your eyes. See if you can hold it. And then fall out of it. Step out of it. <laughs> Basically it was fun how I only really started to feel the asanas effect after Bhakti Yoga did its thing for me. To be honest I mixed it with pranayama and stuff. But the most part was done by Bhakti and mantras. What exactly is Bhakti Yoga again Shakti? Shakti. I just call you Shakti right now. Haha, if you had a bar off screen, you could hold on to it, it would look funny. <laughs> You're right, you know, I could like do this and then me. <laughs> that would be super funny. That would be super funny. But uh probably that's not happening. Yeah, that that would be way too hard because you know the roof is like uh wood. So putting in something, yeah, it's like light wood, the roof, and I can't put anything in like that in the light wood. So, um, and from here to here, kind of like pulling a pull-up bar, that's too long, that doesn't work, unfortunately. But yeah, we, uh, I had one here, that's a good idea, by the way. <laughs> that's a super cool idea, more bacon. Shake your legs out, shake your wrists. Relax a little bit. So again, I told you that we are going to have a little bit of a challenge today as well. So feel free to, to come in. What you need for this is like a big book or a block. I've got a block here, uh, but you can use a big book. Blocks are easier to use. Um, <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to do warrior free. And from the warrior free, we're go going into half moon. Did I say it right now? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we're opening into half moon and then we're going back into warrior free. It's something that I'm also not good with, so we're definitely, I need to definitely use the block. Um, again, a lot of people say like, oh yeah, this is strange, you shouldn't transverse, uh, uh, go, go there, because it kind of like uh, opens your hips in a way that is not... Uh, intended to do but however it's so much there's not much weight on it so yoga is not very weight bearing so it's completely fine to do this so let's read this as opposed to your hands head or energy in bhakti yoga you mostly use your heart to make ah yeah of course now i remember bhakti yes of course a very fast puff nice stream by the way <laughs> i'm sorry shakti of course i remember what's bhakti yoga uh, it's the green one. It's the green one, the heart one. The uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, but uh, but again, you know, um, I don't, I don't really know. Like, okay, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I know yoga poses that are heart opening, for example, right? So I definitely could do a, a heart opening yoga, uh, yoga thing, you know? But again, yoga is like way, way more than just asanas, just poses, right? So I was wondering what kind of like, um, what kind of like, um, exercises you're doing, what kind of like practices you're doing in bhakti yoga. Um, is it just like, or is it just like with your intention connecting to your heart? Because this is still a little bit difficult for me to understand. Oh yeah, there, there are all the different yoga yoga things and, and it's so, so so clouded with everything else that you can put in front of yoga. What I mean is like, oh yeah, beer yoga, <laughs> llama yoga, I don't know, cat yoga, anything like like that, right? So it's still a little bit clouded for me to see through it and really see like, oh yeah, you know what, uh, this makes sense, this this is kind of like more like traditional, okay, the, everything like this is like set apart from it, you know? <laughs> and kind of like figure things out in my head. It's still a little bit different, difficult for me. Nice stream, by the way. Thank you so much, Shakti. So again, let's go and challenge ourselves right now a little bit. Yeah, that's my brother, by the way. Okay. Bring Bring the block into your right hand and come forward. And let's come into. <laughs> okay, I open it. <laughs> I'm sorry, we need to start again. <laughs> Bring your right leg forward and your left leg to the back. Make sure you have a nice place in the back. We're doing uh, Warrior 3 first, so you can kind of like bring both hands onto the floor first. But when we're having the right leg forward, we want to have the right hand with the right block, with a block, definitely. So we have something there. And when you're coming up, we're coming into warrior free, right? So what you're going to do, I can do this without a block, e easy, easy. So push out from your, from your hips into your foot and bring your arms above your head, right? Good. This is warrior free. Now you want to bring the right hand down to the block. You can leave your hands down to the floor, right? Good. At any point in time, if you fall out of it, laugh about it. It's fine. And from there, we are opening up with our hips, opening up with our hips, and lifting your uh, hand up. Engage your belly a little bit. So when you're looking down, you want to be able to see barely the toes. Good job, everybody. And engage your back leg, smile, and then come down again into warrior three, closing your hip. Good, do you feel that? Closing your hip, and again, feel free to bring your arms forward. And one more time, opening up. This is the challenge today. Opening up, good, and release. Slowly come down. In your way, maybe do a little bit of a forward fold here. Release your head. <sighs> Nod your head. Relax. Spine. From there, bend your knees more, more, more. Bring your hands up to your hips, elbows pointing upwards. Stand up with a straight back. Bring your arms up into the sky. Slide back, man. Engage your belly and release. Good. Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Good. And from here, we're doing the other side. How does that feel for you guys? Bring your left leg forward. We're coming into basically high lunge, but you cannot, could also see it as, as a warrior one variation. And from here we're going to warrior three. Whoop, come forward and down. Whoa. Lifting your back leg up, pushing from your hips into your foot, along to your head. 
Good job, everybody. You got this. Again, focus on your foot. Focus on how the foot is connected to the floor. Again, the same thing that we did before in tree pose. Remember, your toes are connected to the floor. Your big toe mount, your outer edge of your foot and your heel. From there, open up with your hips to the side. Have a block on the floor, engage your belly a little. Smile. How does that feel? And then turn down again. Bring the hip down again. Woo! Again, warrior free. Free to stay a little bit here. And then open up one more time. Your hips opening up. If you fall out of it, laugh about it. You're doing amazing. Good job. Smile. Your belly engaged, your head in line with the spine. And release down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Forward fold. Now your head. Grab around your elbow. Swing a little bit side to side. Good. Really nice. Lovely. And let's come to the front of the mat. Let's come to the front of the mat. Bend your knees. And let's roll to the back. Wow! Good job, everybody. So my brother was outside making meowing sounds together with the other cat. She's very, very loud. But, um, yeah. Let's leave that out of the way. A moment. Extend your legs. Feet are facing away from each other. Bring your arms by your sides. Palms are pointing up. Tuck your chin in. Close your eyes and just be relax. Let go of everything here. Just for a minute. You did amazing. Did some balancing poses today. Tried them. Connected with your feet to the floor. That's great. <laughs> now let go of everything. And these poses were a little bit more advanced, so no worries. Let go of everything. Have your eyes closed. I will get you back in about a minute. Keep on lying on the floor. Keep on lying on the floor, have your eyes closed. <coughs> Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers, start to move your toes.
Whenever you're ready, draw your knees in towards your belly. Draw your knees in towards your belly and shift yourself to either the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. In this side body position, make it comfortable for yourself. Have your eyes still closed if that's possible for you. Softening the skin of the face, release all the tension in your tongue, in your jaw, in your neck, in the shoulders, in the arms, in the elbows, in the wrists, in the fingers, in the chest, in the belly, in your hips, in your whole spine, in your whole back, in your legs, in your knees, in your ankles, in your heels, in your toes, releasing all the tension throughout your body. Take a deep inhale. Deep, 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 nurturing your whole being. And as you're breathing out, feel how the gravity of the earth holds you, carries you, takes care of you. With your next inhale, sit yourself up, come into a final sitting position. Sit yourself up, take your time. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. Honoring your yoga practice. Oh, your head in front of your heart. Namaste. Emptiness inside of me recognizes the emptiness inside of you. Wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are. Release your arms, opening your eyes. Welcome back. Welcome back. How did that feel for you?